All right, hey Virgo. So you guys, I am doing your energy update for the weekend. All right, I meant to get these out last night, but eh, you know. Um, this is going to be messages from your person, what I want you to know, i.e. what they want you to know. All right. And um, just real quick, for those of you who are still waiting for Twin Flame energy updates, I am getting those out between tonight and tomorrow. So please be patient with me. They will all be to you by tomorrow. Um, the deadline was today, the 17th. All right. And then the birthday reads in July. So for those of you who have birthdays in July, um, I'm still putting those out just as well. We have time to get those out. So birthday reads too. They're just quick energy check-ins that I'm offering for free. And um, if you're new, welcome. So with this read, you're going to resonate with the energy, your energy, and how you feel about this person. If that does not align with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus placements. And again, if you're new, uh, welcome to my channel. Your energy, we have temperance and the high priestess. Ooh, there's a lot of spirituality going on here. All right. So, um, I okay, I'm almost feeling like through heartbreak that you have endured with whoever you are connecting with. It has sent you into a spiritual shift or an awakening. All right. It doesn't have to be, but it, it, it does say that you are looking for justice, uh, quite possibly re revenge for some of you. Um, but a justice card coming through with that heartbreak. I just feel like um, you, you're, it's kind of ascended you it, it, no matter what, whether it's revenge, whether you're just upgrading and you're just like, meh, you know, um, I feel like you are embodying the high priestess. All right. I feel like you're just all about you right now. You're focused on your own energy, your own self and bringing patience, love, peace and balance to yourself. Maybe revenge was a part or maybe what you thought you wanted, but it's like the, the longer that time goes by, um, you're kind of changing that tone. All right. So I kind of feel like, um, somebody could have, somebody hurt you pretty good. I'm going to say that because you know what? On these reads, I mean, not one sign has actually had the three of swords drop, I don't think, on the first. Um, maybe they have, I don't think they have, on not not on the first, not on your energy. Maybe one sign, I, I, I can't remember. <laughs> don't, I'm not calling it short-term memory, I've just spaced all the reads out today. Um, but what I feel is, uh, it's... <laughs> I can't say revenge because that sounds negative. What I want to say is you're just seeking balance, all right, to maybe even heal um, how you feel about what is it, what situation you have been drawn into, all right. With the High Priestess card coming through here, I just feel like this is you shifting. Um, it's almost like this. If this person came through and they did you dirty and they did you wrong, you're shifting yourself into a point of um, unattainability. All right. So you're making your energy not available to this person anymore. And that to you is balance. That to you is justice. That to you is the justice card. You making yourself unavailable to this person and their energy because they've hurt you um, brings you peace. All right. And it could be too that you're, that's kind of extending beyond just the realm of this person. It could just be that you're looking at all relationships at this point as, um, what's real and what's not. How do you feel about this person? Um, all right. So here's what I'm going to say. And I do, I feel like this is going to resonate completely with maybe at least one person. All right. This person has gotten to you in such a way all right, the situation has gotten to you in such a way that you actually see this person as just a hurt soul. All right, and I kind of feel for some of you, um, I, I'm totally taken um, back that revenge comment that I made because it's not revenge, but I do feel like you acknowledge this person's hurt and you're just like, okay, this person's been hurt, whether they've told you they have been or not. Um, you're applying that to the situation and you see that they're pained, even if it's never been brought to light by them. And so you're just acknowledging it and you're just going to keep moving forward and doing you. All right. So, Hey, you know what? It's not this person's fault that they hurt me. Um, I, I look at them as a wounded soul. Um, so they have growing to do, and that's very, very applaudable, especially by your angels and spirit guides. I have to tell you, how do you feel about them? I do feel like you do want new beginning with them. You do want another chance, another opportunity with the page of swords. Um, it could be too, that you're just kind of checking them out or you feel their energy that's right there around you. 
All right, the Ace of Swords depicts the new beginnings, but it's like if there's going to be a chance opportunity with this person, it's got to be a victory or else I don't want it. Um, they can basically come at me correct. They can bring it all or they don't need to bring anything. Um, I don't, I'm not hanging on to resentment or anger. Um, the revenge part, I guess it would just be seeking um, karmic justice. And that does not have to be a bad thing. So karmic justice is what I feel. So let's just see what their energy is what is this person's energy they are waiting to see basically if this is going to pick back up um they look at you as soulmate all right soul material right there the empress card coming through i feel like that's you being um an envisionment on their mind doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman um the empress card coming through as uh their energy and their situation i feel like you've given them something to, th to think about that nobody else has given them to think about. All right. And I feel like, yeah, um, aside from that, you probably feel like home. You feel um, very nurturing, very wise, um, like a soulmate. This person probably opens up to you like pie. All right. This is a very easy, easy, fluid um, situation when you guys find yourself in it. But it's, it's almost like whatever caused the disconnection this person i do feel does regret it because they're waiting for it to come back around all right the three of um wands is you know waiting for your ships to come in and and i feel like they're waiting for communication from you and they're waiting and they're waiting um but it's it, depending on who broke what connection um it might be that you're waiting for them to come back through um all right so uh the chariot card wanting to move forward uh, and i do feel like that is with you on their mind all right, they want to move forward with you in tow, Virgo. Um, overall, I feel like they have some pretty uh, positive energy, but I do feel like they're kind of biting their nails, if anything. That Three of Wands energy, biting their nails, kind of seeing what's going to happen of this, what's going to be the outcome of this. So what is their intentions towards you, or, or what were they? Their intentions the wheel of fortune the full card this is like heavy heavy major arcana guided and to me major arcana is always going to be an indication of your angels um specifically um communicating uh through this relationship all right so their intentions towards you i'm going to tell you this it's not negative um i feel like if anything you're dealing with somebody who's not as emotionally evolved as you and because um the reason why i'm saying that is because the magician card this is the emperor before the emperor has babies and becomes like this established matured person all right and then the, the empress is the high priestess which is um the high priestess is the counterpart of the magician the magician and the high priestess turn into the emperor and empress after they have babies all right so i kind of feel like we're having one matured soul and one that's just not as emotionally as evolved and so their intentions towards you, I do feel, are to manifest this connection back together, back to growth, back to moving forward. They do want new beginnings, but I almost feel like this person is in hesitation mode so much so that they're kind of waiting um, for the universe to kick in. Like, where, where's my idea and how do I go about this and what do I do with this? Or it could just be like they're waiting for you to reach out to them and you could just be like, no, I'm not doing that. I've given enough of my time and consideration to this. Now you can fight for it if you want it, right? Um, but a side note from that, I just feel like your guys' angels and spirit guides are um, guiding you guys together as well as directing you guys apart when they feel that you guys need to be apart. Um, because every time we, we pull apart, um, that strengthens the bond, whether you can see it or not, all right? So what does this person want to tell you? What do they want to tell you, Virgo? Oh, look at it. They don't want to miss a chance with you. They've already feel like they've probably burned it once pretty good. All right. So the Four of Cups is all about being afraid of that missed opportunity. And the Page of um, Pentacles says that this person's manifesting a future with you. And they want to see you in it. All right. I, I know that maybe I pulled my energy back, but here I am. I want to come back to you. Um, maybe this person's younger than you. I kind of feel like there could be an age difference and this person just kind of gets scared. And this person probably maybe they um, never had that um, envelopment of like love 
from the opposite parent. So if it's a boy or a guy you're dealing with, he never had the mother love. And if it's a woman or a chick, she never had the father love. And so they don't know how to apply that to you. All right. And I just kind of feel like, um, you know, what they want to say is, is, uh, you know, I, I can see good things with you. I've just never felt that. Um, I've never felt what you've given. So it does scare me to move forward or to want to move forward. So let's see what their next move is in the next 30 days. <laughs> By the way, I am, I'm going to try to work with the, um, the captions or whatever. I kind of thought that they were already applied to my videos, but apparently they're not. So um, so their next move, the next 30 days, definitely this is not something that's being closed out now and not even in the near future. All right. Um, so the next 30 days, kind of what their move is, is I feel like they're going to come out of the shadows. So where they were indecisive, where they were indecisive, where this person was not able to make a decision before, they're going to be coming forward and they're going to tell you, you know, why they've been st um, staying kind of in the shadows, why they've kind of been hiding their energy. All right. But I feel like their move is going to be pretty big in that they're, they're going to show you what path they want to walk down. Um, even if it's not like, Hey, let's go on a date and Hey, let's get married and Hey, let's date and be boyfriend and girlfriend. I, I do at least feel, um, for some of you guys, they're going to be like, I, I do want to go down this path with you. I just, um, it's like this person needs help. Um, being navigated down that path. I don't feel like this person's actually ever been loved in the way that you're trying to show them, Virgo. So your advice when it comes to this connection, your advice. Look at that. All right. So maybe where you've had a page come through before, you've had some immature energy. This person is coming back in full force. All right. At the most mature level, king or queen alike. All right, they're going to come through. You will be receiving messages from this person. And I feel like you're going to see a different a different part of this person where they're going to come, they, you know, they might physically be younger than you. I feel like they're going to show you some emotional maturement. Yeah, look at, and this is a, this is, this is definitely a soulmate connection. One that is going to be healed. So you just have some patience with this person. Have some patience with yourself and you guys need to make sure you're asking God and the angels and spirit guides for advice and to jump in. All right. When you need help with this shit, man, because they don't just kind of interfere. Right. So let's see what signs you're dealing with. We got Capricorn. Sagittarius. And Cancer. And just remember, you guys, just because the zodiac sign and the initials may not resonate with you, it does not mean this is not your read. This is what's important. It's not the letters and it's not the zodiac symbols. It, it bums me out when people kind of um, comment and say, oh, man, it's not my read. Yes, it is very much your read if you resonate with it. All right. So signs and initials. We got the Y. We have M. L. We have D, H, X, and P. All right, Virgo, I'm going to leave it here, you guys. I do hope that you'll, you'll at least like the video um, so that other people on YouTube have the opportunity to see the messages if this resonates with you. And I appreciate you guys with all of my heart for being here and just, um, yeah, for, for um, giving me your support. All right, take it easy.